guys, it's me, and like I told you, it's Saturday, and I'm back. It's a little different because I just went and got my hair just a blowout from Morgan. It's, what time is it now? I think it's, I can't tell because, oh, I got my watch on. It is five minutes to three, but I was determined I am doing this video because there's so many things I can't wait to show you. So, first of all, I am wearing... This is funny. This is funny. I have to share this with you. These are the boots that I showed you yesterday. So good. So good. They just, I'll put some pictures in here. I took some pictures of my outfit today. I was so impressed with, see how they've worked in already so they don't feel like they're just stiff and cheap or whatever. But look what I did. <laughs> bottom. So I'm going to have to pull all of this off. Such a geek. So everybody, I wonder if you could see that if you're walking behind me. Yuck. Okay. I want to get that off later. That's kind of dirty. I wore these today and I wanted to give you thumbs up. Take off this jacket. This is, okay. I love having follow-up videos. The Balmain jacket that I showed you yesterday is the same size as this one. And this is the long line one too. This one isn't boyfriend, but this one is long. So when I ordered that one, I ordered the same size as this one, which I think is, I got this one from Nordstrom last year. And this one is 38. Well, that's the size I got in the last one. But like you guys said, and I admit it to, even though it breaks my heart to return it, and they don't have a 36. So I had to kind of, um, I had to send in pictures and I had to request to be able to return it and I have to pay $35 to return it. But it was an expensive jacket and you know, even though it was such a bargain, it isn't if it doesn't look good and it's too big. But this one, oh my goodness, I love it. And then I've got on that Zara satin blouse awesome. I hope that some of you got it. And then I've also got on one of these slip skirts and then underneath it, I just have on one of those um, Honey Love cami type things, which make it nice because then you can, you know, open up the collar. What should I show you first? What should I show you first? Oh goodness. I have so much stuff. I'm a little freaked out. I have been shopping. I have been shopping. Some of it was on sale. Some of it was on sale, most of it wasn't. But, you know, for a long time I've been shopping around the house and stuff like that. So when I got back on looking at things, I really, I went ahead and ordered a few things that I've been wanting. First of all, I ordered a new pair of pajamas. You know, the green ones I have with the tiger? They're Avery and they sell them at Saks. They're $99 for the set. They come in this pouch. So when you see that green pouch like this on my bed, that is for my other pajamas. And the reason I put it there is because Sassy likes to lay on something. So I always just keep that out there. We make up the bed and I'll throw that out there and she likes to lay on it. So, and I just think it's pretty. So I did get these pajamas. I'm going to wash them and probably wear them tonight. I just love them. I have never been really a pajamas girl. And the ones I got from Walmart, the Paisley ones, love those, they're so soft, but woo, they are warm. I don't know if it's gonna get cold enough here. It's kind of like flannel sheets. I tried that. This is just isn't a flannel sheet place because even when it gets really cold here at night, it hasn't been that cold during the day and our house kind of builds up the heat. But sometimes we have to put the air condition on. Like last night, we had to put the air condition on to sleep and it was cold outside. So anyway, we will see if I'll get to wear those or not. I will at least get to wear the bottoms around the house because they're so soft. But what I was gonna say is what a beautiful gift to give. These nice pajamas, so quality is amazing. They wash and dry amazing. They're comfortable. And I just think they're so cute. And I think this little package is cool too. I brought these up here. I just got them um, today or yesterday. Remember I told you I was going to try some more hair clips for, 
matter of fact, like right now, if I wasn't doing a video, I would have my hair probably in a twist up, and I, ooh, they feel good. They feel good. Mm -hmm. And I would do this to keep my baby hairs from frizzing up. Oh, it just feels so good. I feel like the world has opened up, but I can't keep this in there. But that's what I use these for. And then if you watched my hair video, you know I use these for my uh, curls, to set my curls too. And look how pretty these are, all the different colors. Let's go with, since I showed you the pajamas, I placed an order at Saks. Matter of fact, I think when I was listing the information from my hair video, and I found the pajamas on Saks, I think that led me to these. The Bottega Bonetta, I have several pair of these, and I even have a nude pair, but they're the leather. And they're just wearing those leather patent pumps lately. Just, there is just nothing like nude patent leather. And I love these. I think I wore my black ones recently, and you just can't imagine how comfortable they are for this much heel and just for that look. So I ordered these. I know I love them and I know that I will wear those so much. So I love the Bottega box too. This green, so pretty. I don't, I haven't saved all of them. I'm trying not to um, jump this house up and save a lot of stuff that's pointless, but I really hate throwing those boxes away. They're so pretty. Saks Off Fifth. Okay, I placed two orders from Saks Off Fifth, and one of them is a lamp, but I've got it plugged in. Let me see if I can go grab it and bring it over here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna stand up and show you because I've got some other stuff I want to show you. But look, it's that same brand, Safavea, but isn't that a cool lamp? It has a really nice, tall, not real tall, but a nice shade. It has the crystal at the top and it's not dimmable. It's just a regular on off switch, but I just thought that was cool. And a nice base and see how the base looks. It's got like the gold in it too. I just thought it was nice and the price was right and it looks good with my credenza and my mirror and my other lamp. It's not too bulky or, you know, doesn't take up too much room. And I love it so far. These I got, I thought they would look good on my sofa. They're the same brand and I love them. I love the way they look, but they're pitiful. I really need to get inserts to put in here that make them, you know, full and just lush looking. They came like, um, vacuum packed and I was just expecting them to just boof out into this beautiful pillow. But I think that the actual insert is really cheesy and cheap, but they do, you know, unzip. And so I am going to get, I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get some down ones to go in here, but how cool is that? I just feel like it's a cool vibe. I felt like this went well with my gold and then this went well with the sofa. So I got this size and this size. So continuing with the Saks Off Fifth, I cannot wait to show you these. These just got here yesterday after my video. And when I tried them on, it just gave me butterflies. I just know you're gonna love them so much. It's two pair of Victoria Beckham sunglasses. And this is it. Two pair, and it was not only were they not very expensive, I don't know what this is, this could be the pillows. Not only were they not, you know, very expensive, they were already marked down because it sacks off fifth, but it was like buy one pair, get the second pair 50% off or something. So I got these for very little. They came with every tag, every, you'll probably see in the next pair, I wore these today, and the coolest cases. I love these kind of cases. They're my favorite because they're real easy, but look at these, I wore these today. They are fabulous. You can see my light. So comfortable, of course, don't touch my cheeks. Oversized aviator, just could not get any better. 
could not get any better than this. So I am praying that there are plenty left. I know last time I got those cool Chloe aviators and the other ones there was barely any left, but I have heard that a lot of cool things are hitting like Saks Off Fifth and Nordstrom Rack because there's less people shopping. So when the new stuff comes in, they have to get the old stuff. They come in the boxes, Victoria Beckham boxes. They have to get the old stuff and send it to their outlets. Okay, this one has the same case. And I haven't taken the tag off of this. Shoot, 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 because I can't. It's gonna ruin the vibe. Let me go take the tag off, hold on. Hey, how many times have I wanted a pair of sunglasses that do this, like the Loewe and a lot of those sunglasses, but they always touch my cheeks? Well, these have the nose pieces, and so they are fabulous as well. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I think that they are awesome. They're just such good quality and such a good price. So I really hope, it even has like the VB in here. I really hope that made in Italy, that there are plenty available. Okay, we just got a Christmas tree. I went and picked it out and then John and Will picked it up and John just brought it in. So the cats are, you know, they're kind of not freaked out, but you'll hear Chanel doing her weird now. But um, we're letting it kind of, spread out right now before we decide, you know, which way we're gonna turn it and everything. So many of you sent me pictures of your Uggs and that your Uggs are doing the same thing. And I hate to say this, but it made me feel a little bit better because I was getting afraid that maybe I had gotten just a fake pair or something because my pink ones that I bought from Nordstrom, the Nordstrom sale, they haven't done that. But because they're pink, I don't wear them every day. Like those black ones, I just wear them, wear them, wear them, you know, all the time. Like even if I'm wearing heels, a lot of times I'll throw those in the car with me in case something happens and my feet are sore and I want to run in the grocery store or something like that. So when I was getting frustrated about that, I think I saw Tamara, is it Tamara? Tamara Kalenic show these and I got them. What is that? A thread, but I bought these. these I actually, I mean, I like the look of the Uggs better, but I got these from the girl that I get some handbags from, and I showed her pictures of how the Uggs do, and she said she had never had that complaint. So, if they do that, they're gonna have a complaint. You guys, who am I? Look at my nails. I'm gonna paint them tonight. That's from washing dishes and wiping the counter down over and over. But anyway, I do think that they're pretty. Many of you have sent me a picture of the Gucci ones, and I like the Gucci ones, but I don't like the white sole. I liked how these were just black, 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 and I may still try the Birkenstock Arizonas, but I have to tell you, these feel pretty good. I've just been wearing them around the house today, and they feel good. Here we go. Here we go. Handbags. I started thinking about handbags. I wanted a new one. And my first thought was I wanted to try a mini bag. You know, I was thinking, gosh, I don't really need that many things these days. You know, I've got my stuff down to just basically one bag that I take from purse to purse. I have really enjoyed the Dior book tote, but I have a little hang up and I don't know why I have this hang up, but I kind of feel like totes are for summer, spring and summer. When I think of a tote, I just think of skin showing. You know what I mean? Like with a dress or not so much clothes. It was like when I had a jacket and everything and then I had that canvas tote, it just didn't feel right to me. It didn't feel right. And I was like loading it up with all kinds of junk. And so I was thinking I wanted a smaller bag. So the first bag that I ordered or the first bag that I thought about ordering I would love to have a mini or small Chanel. They didn't have any of them that I wanted. And so I was thinking about the, what is it called? Jody Bottega Mini. I think that's what it's called. I'm sorry, it's, I'll, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's it. I get the Jody and the Gucci Jackie mixed up. So anyway, the Jody Mini 
and I've got another one that I'm getting ready. I haven't seen yet. I just picked it up today. I was at home when they tried to deliver it, so they left it at CVS, and I had to pick it up. Then, as I'm, you know, I'm kind of oblivious to the handbags because, of course, there's nowhere around here that sells anything. The, the best you can get in my area is Coach, Tory Burch, maybe some Kate Spade, and Brahmin. Those are like the high-end bags everywhere here. So when I got to, got the handbag bug and I started watching videos, you know how one thing leads to another. And here I am with, I've got three here today. I've already sent back the Jody Mini. John took it out of the box and kind of held it up. And I said, don't even take the plastic off of it. I could tell just by him holding up that little bag, it looked like something I should give my niece or something. It just, I just feel like I am not a cutesy girl. I, and I just, I just did not feel like I would look right with that bag. And I think you can probably fit right much in that bag, but it just wasn't me. So that one went immediately. This one I got, I think the day before Thanksgiving. And my plan was to get all of them and then decide which ones to keep, which ones to send back. But as soon as I pulled this one out, it was over. I knew this one was staying no matter what. And I used it today and it is the Fendi First bag. Now there's two sizes. I debated on the smaller one, but he sent me, I worked with a guy that I met in New York and now he is in Miami in the Fendi store down there. So he was nice enough to send me all kinds of good pictures. And this one is just perfection. I have always loved a handbag with a frame. You just click that little button, it opens, and then it's got the classic Fendi on the inside. What was awesome is my little bag that I carry from, you know, handbag to handbag is this one. So it slipped right down in there and I open it up and then you know, I use this as my wallet now, and I've just got my cash in the bag and keys, and I've even got this little, um, this little bag that I have, I think I have some lipstick and stuff in it, which I really don't even need because here's some other stuff I don't need. What in the world? That, I think that's extra keys to the house, but we have like a security system thing now. And what is this? Okay, yeah. Oh, you know what? This is my San Diego City Lips. They're having buy one, get one right now. That's what I've got on today. It's what I wore in yesterday's video. This one and the clear, just get them. I just cannot imagine, unless you just despise sticky lip gloss, you're gonna love these. And even if you do, they don't stay sticky forever and don't put it on both lips. I, a lot of times, will just put it on my bottom lip and then rub it in so it isn't so thick. So that's on sale. Anyway, so this fits everything and it's, you can take the strap off. The strap goes in there so you can take the strap off and then this little thing um, spins and goes in so that it, there's no, you know, little hook or anything and then you can use it as a clutch. It's, it's beautiful. My mom saw it at Christmas and she loves it too. The strap length is amazing. Let me stand up and show you. I've got stuff everywhere. Look how pretty it is. It is just, it's so, I just think of like modern Mad Men because I know in Mad Men, I remember Joan had a framed purse and I loved it. I've had several, and matter of fact, even that, there's a couple of Gucci bags that I've had that have kind of a frame to them, but love this. So if you have been thinking about this bag at all, I think you will love it. It does stay open, like in my car seat. It doesn't, you know, slam back so I can work in and out of it. And it does, you know, sit. Like when I came home, I just sat it on the counter and it sat fine, it has a good, bottom. I would never put it on the floor or anything like that. The next bag I ordered is the regular size. It's not the mini and it's not the large. I'm not sure if there's two in between that, but it is the, 
it's this one. I don't know what the size is. It's the Bottega. Um, if I had to say it's the one up from the mini, it's the regular size. And I just got this yesterday. I wish it had gold hardware, but you can't really see the hardware. And let me take the stuffing out here again. As soon as I pulled this out of, I got this from Nordstrom. As a matter of fact, I used my double points when I got this and the mini Jody, but that will go back. But when I felt this, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to send it back. It is so soft. You can't even express how something this big and heavy looking would be not heavy and not stiff or anything. It is just like the best quality. I love it. And it's very different for me. I used to have, if you've been here with me long enough, remember the tan suede lucky bag that my mom got me one Christmas that I ruined with a new pair of jeans and it got really stained on the back. That's probably the last time I had a bag like this. And when I used to sew and make handbags, I used to make one kind of like this out of denim. And so I've always been kind of partial to this. So that is probably staying too. This is the last one. Mulberry, and they are actually having a really good sale right now. I didn't get this on sale. I don't know if this is on sale. I just saw the email come through and I was pretty surprised. So this is the mini bag that I ended up settling on and I hope I like it. I like mulberry bags. I had the, if you've been with me long enough, remember the black patent leather, was it Alexa? It was one of those common, there's a couple of different bags that are like their main bags. I can't remember if it was the Alexa or if it was the Bay Water. It might've been the Bay's Water, but Kate Moss had it. And that's what made me look at them. And I bought it off of eBay or something. That one was too big. But it was a really big one. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this bag. This is the mini Alexa. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. Okay, so this is a snap. This is a snap. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. One of my subscribers and friends on here, she has her own channel. Her name is B, and she is a handbag collector. And when I looked this up, her video came up and she was talking about how much she could get in it and how it was such a practical mini bag. That is what really got me to order it. So B, you really helped me with this and your videos. Okay, so let's take this out. It does come with the, of course, long, strap. Oh my goodness, you guys. And it has a lot of room in here. That was a lot of stuffing. Oh goodness. So it has that much room and I don't want to take this all apart right now. I want to really, really, really make sure, but that is precious. That is so pretty to me. Look at that. Mulberry is just nice. It's kind of like Bottega or it reminds me of kind of like the nice, nice coach bags. What other bags are like this? Chloe, that reminds me of the Chloe bags. I mean, Chloe bags are just built tough and that is how this is. That is so pretty. And this has the gold hardware and the little turnkey closing goes in there. You could turn it. Oh my goodness. So let me know which one is your favorite. I understand I ordered all black bags, but I just thought to myself, a while ago, I ordered that Gucci bag, the Gucci Diana bag in black. And when I was, my mom and dad were helping me pick out what color I wanted. And I told them that most of the bags I used the most were black that I didn't know if I wanted another black bag. And they said, well, you should probably get the bags that you use the most. Which, that's why you use the black one the most. And it just stuck with me. So I went ahead and ordered black because that's just what, I'm not, I like changing my bags, but I'm not someone who wants to have to change it every day. 
So that's why I got the black ones. Oh, this is so cute. So cute. Tough decision there. I don't know. I'm glad I went ahead and sent that little mini Jody back. And was there anything else that I wanted? Oh, there was one more thing I got from Saks Off Fifth. Hold on. What's this? Just a floor cushion. And this one I think will be fine. It just needs to kind of get smushed up a little bit. And I ordered this in case I wanted to do, you know, put my camera down here on the coffee table and just sit down and do like talking videos when we get back to normal, do the Wednesday videos and stuff. And I just like the color. You know what it's gonna end up being? It's gonna be a kitty bed. That's probably what it'll end up being, but I just think it's pretty. I cannot believe that we got through all of this at 29 minutes. I'm excited. Okay, my earrings are the Jenny Bird that I was showing you. I love these. I can't believe they just have a lot of show. And then there is the necklace. And then I just kept on the L necklace. That's the ring that my parents gave me. Oh, and I do have on the matching cuff and my watch, and I have on the exact same makeup as yesterday. I love it. Oh, the only thing I changed is, instead of the Urban Decay Naked, which I could not find online, I cannot believe they have discontinued Urban Decay Naked. That's crazy. I'm sure it's still in the Naked palette, but I used the lightest brown color from the Tom Ford Mink Mirage palette which is also a good a good choice. And that is it. So I hope you guys take advantage of all of these good sales. I could sit here and tell you, Sheila Fajal's having a good sale, Honey Love, Dean Davidson, Jenny Bird. I mean, everybody, everybody's having good sales. I asked John last night, because I don't watch the news anymore. I asked him, are retail sales behind? Because I feel like the sales are better than ever this year. I feel like they're trying to catch up and I have already started Christmas shopping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what was your favorite thing, and I will see you definitely Monday and possibly tomorrow. Bye-bye.